Last week we saw Hue and Cry on the move up to Scarborough Marina in Queensland. This week she's on the hard getting some work done. And we get some great footage from Scarborough Marina of Huey being relaunched. I've been searching the whole ocean, wondering if the skies would clear, treading softly in slow motion, but I think the time is near, but I think the time is near to Well, here we are at Scarborough Marine on the hard stand. We've washed and polished the hull both sides already and sanded the gunnels. Uh, we had a couple of little rub marks from the journey up from south, but we've got all those off. We didn't bother to Annie Fowler because she only had Annie Fowl put on uh, four months ago. Um, so she's still good enough to, to go. We've got uh, deck tread to do uh, up top and finish some sanding on some timber work while she's on the hard. The other job we're gonna do while she's on the hard is measure and drill the holes to, fix, uh, to fit the anchor windlass up on the bow. Uh, okay. Well, we're nearly done on our new non-skid deck paint. We're using Norglass Weather Shield Weather Fast Marine Deck Paint and Cream with an Intergrip um, non skid. Um, they're like little baubles, but they, they go in the paint um, and they add a little bit more. Have you got stuff in there, have you? Open it up so it look. just looks like white powder. Just looks like white powder. Like um, sugar. But um, yeah, we've added that to. Um, I won't bring it out. We've got a four litre tin that's down there. It's a bit grotty now because we've been using it. But um, So why would you use that instead of um, Kiwi Grip? Uh, because of the. Um, at the moment, the Kiwi Grip is has been explained to us as being you've got to be spot on when you pull the tape off, um, and your application's got to be perfect. And at the moment, we probably won't have the time to sit there and fiddle with it. So we've put a similar non-skid back on the boat this time, um, and almost identical colour, which is. Good, uh, so that we don't have to have the uh, precision putting it together. Okay. Um, so it was a case of it took a long time to tape off from the heat and everything else up here. Um, but Scarborough has been um, pushing this along to make sure to get it all done. Um, the cabin top, as you can see, has all been treated and redone. Uh, the white's still got to be done, um, but the uh, side decks have only been done we took it for lunch today. And look, I'm up a ladder. And Kim's up a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> this is as far as she wants to go. But the rear, the rear quarter decks here have been done, taped off, painted. Same with the transom. Um, we're just waiting for it to cure. We've got just a little area by the step ladder here that we haven't done as a convenient uh, on and off area. I'll just step without shaking too much up over the top and show you the bow finished. I've just got to avoid the areas, but we've done the hatch working walking forward, the hatch and all the all the areas here. So at the moment we've got a nice new deck. We've got to redo that front bit. The front area is going to have the anchor winch on. So we haven't uh, painted that rather than waste any paint there at the moment. So, yep. So at the moment, she's looking pretty good. That's 
a view of Hue and Cry on the hard stand at Scarborough Marina in uh, Queensland. What are your views on different deep treats? Leave your comments below. Here's the holes drilled for the anchor windlass to be mounted. View from underneath. And our backing plates, uh, one for the top and one for the bottom to spread the load. We had to put a thin sliver of timber to level the foredeck. Then the mounting plate was epoxied on and the anchor windlass is fitted. It's not finished, we've still got a bit of work, hence all the wiring's got to be done. But everything else is in. Thank you Richard from Scarborough Marina for the drone footage of the relaunch of You and Cry. A full view of it is in the link below. <laughs>